Hello, one and all. Welcome back to Europa Universalis 4. My name is Cilantro. This is my Morocco playthrough. Oh, uh, my God. So after last session, I <laughs> had just eked out a victory against Portugal, and I'm, I'm actually feeling pretty good. I, I feel like this is doable. Having a superior navy ended up being really powerful. Unfortunately, I incurred a lot of debt to do it, and I need a lot of money for the foreseeable future. So I've got a lot of things that I need to focus on all at the same time. Just literally get everything done all at once. So I'd like to work towards uh, getting more of the expansion ideas done. I mean, none of these are ultra good, but I believe that the... And I, can I actually check? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, if I get both of these finished, I can add... So anytime you finish an idea group, that idea group, and I believe any of the other ones you have finished combined together... To make a policy and you can you can use the policy each of which costs one of the given monarch point per month and so yeah you can see here when i complete expansion and exploration ideas i will have colonial expansion available global settler increase plus 20 is huge that is a lot and this is going to make my colonization efforts even faster so getting that would be amazing uh, unfortunately, I'm going to have to eat a lot of admin power to do it. I need 2,000 admin power to finish out this idea group. And I am behind on tech quite a bit. 758. Uh, some of my other neighbors aren't too bad. Like, these guys are 778. But the Western countries are starting to get way ahead. And I ultimately like to westernize this game. And I actually feel like the time to do it is now. I have a truce with my biggest enemies, which is Castile and Portugal, for nine years. I just checked it. Uh, listen, I'm pretty sure. Let's see here. Uh, truce with Granada ends in... Uh, well, they took a separate piece, so Spain could come in against me. But I still have a better navy, and it'll take longer for them to rebuild it anyway. Uh, these guys have... Yeah, until 33. So, over nine years. And... I mean, Tunis is always a threat. Um, and actually, I should probably check the naval power of the Ottomans. They likely have a much larger navy than even I do because they're the Ottomans and that's just what they do. So I'm just going to check that real quick. And yeah, 58 galleys. So I'm not I'm not quite there. So if I do get attacked, I, I'm going to have to definitely deal with a land force from Tunis and possibly a force from the Ottomans. So there is some risk. Obviously, there's I mean, there's always going to be some risk. Um, I've got allies down here that will help me out. I should probably be constantly improving relations with these guys. Um, in fact, to that end, I think as soon as this guy is... Uh, this diplomat comes back. There we go. Uh, looks like some... Aragon just allied with Portugal. Really? God. Stupid Portuguese and all their allies. Um, so yeah, I want to I want to make sure that my allies and I are in good standing. I want to be super super buddy buddy with these guys to help def uh, defend me if I decide to westernize, which I think I'm going to. Um, I've got my co colonial expansion. Obviously, I'm also going to immediately declare war on these guys as soon as I get a diplomat back. Which actually, I'll bring one back from the Ottomans. Um, yeah, these guys are going to be a bunch of money, and it's an easy kill. I've got a 15-stack army here. I'll just go crush them. Done. Not a problem. Um, I want to continue my colonial advancement, and i got to worry about my money. There's a lot of things going on right now. So, first thing I want to do, I want to get my Monarch points back. So, that means for now, I'm going to basically kick out both my Admiral and my General, and I need to hire a Conquistador so I can go back to exploring. Because I need to start jumping up here. I can already see the green of Portugal heading up this way. I have to get to the Americas and colonize this early. If I can knock out Georgia from a colony rather than conquering, I would much rather have that happen than anything else. So, um, let's no leader these guys. And where is my... Uh, where's the fleet that actually has the admiral? There it is. Okay, these are this is my galleys, part of my galleys and transports. These are galley and light ship. I'm just gonna consolidate my navy for now. Um, and there's all those. I could have sworn I had a bunch of light ships. Didn't I make a bunch by accident? Maybe I did, and I just lost all of them. Yeah, I only have one light ship right now. Um, 
I'd like to make some of these so I can protect trade, actually, but I, I really don't have the cash. Okay, we're going to repay one loan. Um, get that taken care of. I'm actually uh, not super worried about that, I guess, for now. Um, I will be able to mothball some of my navy, although that only saves a little bit. Uh, do I have any forts I can mothball? No, none of them are, them are active because I really I want to try to pay off my debts. I don't want to be sitting at debts. So I'm gonna I'm gonna run it three x for now. Um, let me move my troops up here so I can war deck on these guys, knock them out real quick, and uh, get some extra cash. I'm actually kind of surprised that this retained the same name. Uh, it could be just because I have I had no established colonial presence here. I wonder if this one's going to have a different name. It'd be very awkward if I had two different colonies all intermixed with each other. Because it's it's roughly based on colonial region, but there's also some other effects, and it's not, I, I'm not 100% familiar with exactly how it works, so it is a little weird. Um, I do have the uh, show superiority CB, thankfully, which is good. Um, and while I have no manpower, I should be able to just run in, crush the stack, and be done with it. And uh, just to that end, I'm gonna hire. I'm gonna go ahead and hire the conquistador, who's not super great. And then I'm going to fire the general. Okay. One thing I'm not sure of, and I'm sure some of you guys are probably yelling at me, is I don't know if there. I mean, I know there is a, a mechanical difference between a conquistador and a general. A general. Uh, will allow you to automatically hunt down um, troops, whereas a uh, hunt down rebels, whereas conquistadors don't. But as far as combat goes, I don't know if generals will roll higher stats than conquistadors, or if the stats are the same. I really, I really don't know. Um, either way, let's uh, show some superiority. Crush these guys real quick. One fast little stack wipe, and this should be over with. Um, I do have a free merchant as well, so let's take a look at our trade concerns. Um, what's this? I've not seen this. Is this new? Or have I just never noticed? Maybe I've just never noticed it before. That is interesting. Okay. So we're, auto we're already collecting from Safi. Uh, I believe we're already pushing from Tunis, which is good. And are we pushing from down here? I, I don't think we were able to. I, yeah, our, our trade range wasn't quite far enough. Current trade power in Brazil is 38%. So what if we... Yeah, I don't want to transfer to the Ivory Coast. Well, maybe I do, because that's... Although I'm not transferring from there. So let's collect from here. There we go. Okay, so we're going to be collecting some money from the Brazil uh, node. And then some of it's going to be funneled from to Rio de Plata anyway. Okay, so that'll work out well. Excellent. Uh, merchant will arrive in that many days. Diplomat is... Geez, 45 days. Wow. All right, we're marching on these guys. This should be a very easy stack wipe, as these guys probably only have like military tech. Well, five actually, so that's not too bad. It's not going to save them, but it's not as bad as I thought. Wipe them out, and we'll take that province and all their cash. Actually, can I just get it now? <laughs> okay. I guess once my diplomat gets back, I may be able to get it. We'll see. Poor Granada is already at that. Um. Okay, so... Oh, God. I am so afraid to do this. I'm going to have to deal with rebels for sure. I don't have my troops around. I have one rebellion, rebellious faction. I could increase autonomy. I've got to... I want to do it, and I've got to do it, like, now. Like, this is the time to do it. While I'm at truce with my biggest enemy. Let's go. Stability drops by three... So we'll immediately get that back up. Because we don't want to deal with that. We, we, we don't have a lot of points saved up right now either. So the, the westernization process may take a while. For sure. Uh, actually, I wish I hadn't changed my national focus. Because the lack of military power is... That's going to hurt. And I, how do I still have two leaders? Oh, because I never got rid of, got rid of my um, admiral. Derp. You get no leadered, please. And now I'll get rid of my Admiral. And let's run time. Conquer those guys real quick. I'm going to leave, uh, obviously, some sort of a detachment here to explore. Um, it looks like 
they're expanding a little bit even there. Uh, yeah, I've got to get local autonomy. I have to save every monarch point that I can. I'm up. My heart's already beaten. I, uh, oh God, I hope this is the right decision. If I can westernize safely, it's going to be huge. It's going to be really good for me. Actually, my overall unrest isn't that bad. Um, it's really not that bad at all. Okay, I do have a missionary, which I can't really do anything with. I have one diplomat. So I'm going to need to get peace out of this guy. Hopefully, I'll have a lot of cash so I can get a uh, couple of things. Oh, I'm actually making four ducats a turn. That's not bad, actually. That's not bad at all. Considering what's going on and I have my armies at full maintenance, that's that's pretty good. Um, I'm going to have to pull my troops back. Some of them, at least, to help deal with rebels. And actually, to that end, where is Kyuta? There it is. You head over there and help suppress those rebels. Um, okay, and this is the other thing that really hurts, is you're going to get these events where you either lose westernization process or lose other things like 30 prestige, which hurts. So... We're going to have to get that up. Thankfully, our colonization efforts will help continue to build our prestige. All right, we won. Let's sue these guys out. Take their land. Take all of their... Oh, boy. All of their dough. And there we go. Excellent. Okay. Good, good, good. So now, uh, to help our financial situation, let's repay all of our loans... We are now debt-free, so now we're making 4.77 ducats a month. And uh, colony maintenance is good, fleet maintenance, I mean, I can mothball some troops, but it's not that big of a deal. I'd actually rather keep these guys at full maintenance, just in case they get war decked and I don't have to unmothball them. I'm willing to spend the cash right now. Speaking of willing to spend the cash, I advisors do cost more, but I need military power to help with the westernization process. So I'm going to hire a military advisor. And what's my force limit for Navy? Okay, let's make some... I'm going to go ahead and make some light ships to protect trade. They will pay for themselves. Maybe not immediately, but they will ultimately pay for themselves. Okay. Um, you guys head up here. I'm actually just going to consolidate. Uh, how are we doing on our mission, by the way? Did we take a mission? Prestige. Oh, God. Well, we just lost. I'm just going to cancel this. There's no way I'm going to get the prestige mission anytime soon. Not while westernizing, unfortunately. Um, stupid England. That's yeah. That's really unfortunate. Okay, so once these, once these colonies have finished, and they're actually making pretty good progress already, um, I'm going to head over and start exploring... To deal with the uh, unrest of these guys popping up here occasionally. Actually, see a few places are getting natives. Um, let me grab my transport ships, which I believe is this fleet. Second fleet, yep, those are my transport ships. I'm gonna bring these guys over, and I just want to get sight of some places just to start seeing how far I can reach. I want to do this in as few jumps as possible. I may even be able to jump all the way to the southern tip of Florida. It's going to be hard to it's going to be hard to gauge whether or not that's true until I actually get there, but it might. All right, in the meantime, um, I should only need a couple explorers. Um, actually, we'll just do hunt for the seven cities while my ships are coming over here. That seems to give some really cool events that I'd like to see more of. For sure. Okay. Oh, runtime. Tendency to pause very often. <laughs> All right, you go park yourself there real quick. Use some stuff for casualties. Air hey, manpower is starting to grow. Although we are going to be reinforcing a little bit, so it won't be too long. I should go up to 4x. I'm feeling a little, a little comfortable now, so. Alright. Let's pull these guys away. Uh, starting to deal with a lot of unrest from the peasants. That's fine. So we're going to split, and I want to transport over to... Let's take a shot. 
wish I could see how much a colonial range is without actually having to have the place revealed. Let's try this island. And then you guys come back over here. Let's see here. 2.1. So if I boost my stability, reduce my war exhaustion. There we go. That's much better. Okay. So that'll hopefully hold that as long as I don't lose too much uh, in terms of stability or anything like that. I should actually be in good shape as far as the westernization process goes. Also, I need to hope that I don't get attacked. Um, oh, already 11% done. Although the military power is going to drain out sooner than later, unfortunately. Um, shipyard would be nice. Thankfully, once I've uh, finished the westernization process, I will be able to tech up very quickly. Okay. Oh no, it's a disaster. Probably should, uh, I should really just be killing the natives anymore. Okay, so colonial range is, okay, 240. So that's, uh, that's about as close as it's going to get. So I'm going to have to go there. How's my ships doing? Um, they should be okay for that. And then I'm going to go up here and just, v and just view this. And this should be well within 240. Actually, hopefully even closer than 240. Or uh, rather, further away. Uh, let's see here. National unrest. Or local unrest for one area. Oh, yeah. Jesus. One one whole province? All day. I'll gladly do that. Sugar! Uh, Kombucha mushroom people are making some sugar, apparently. Every time I hear a sound, I'm panicking. Oh my god, I'm so... T I never would have thought a grand strategy game that potentially has like hundreds of hours of gameplay would be this damn intense. Alright, hopefully I can make this, these ships back before they uh, end up dying. I'm going to leave these guys here so I can repair my ship. Okay, so this is 346, so I can actually go further than that. Um, let's head up to Georgia, head up to Georgia and see if I can jump right from there to there. Ooh, cost reducing word, exhaustion reduced, that's kind of nice. Alright, new mission. Uh, let's see here. 50 ducats or law. I'll lose 50% of the population. That's fine. Uh, turn into a city. Colony increase. Yeah, it's turned into a city. That sounds good. All right, we have a free diplomat. So I want to make sure I'm keeping all of my allies sated as much as possible. So you are my ally. Yes, Morocco. Who well, am I allied with, actually? Uh, let's see here. Allies, allies, allies. There we go. Mazab. These guys, right? Um, plus 36. So let's improve with them. And then Jolof, I believe, is also my ally. Uh, yes, they are at 118. And then I think Messina is also my ally. And did I have ally Songhai? I did not. Okay. Have I improved with you? No, I have not. All right. I'm going to get these guys as high up as possible. They are going to be my defense against any potential incursion. And I really don't care if I keep or lose this colony in particular, as long as I can get up here. There's also a chance there's going to be Native Americans up here that I'm going to have to end up dealing with. I know that uh, there's a number of tribes that actually start in this area that may or may not have consolidated. I don't know. Once I've scouted this stuff out... Um oh, England going on Scotland. Okay. Okay. Uh, once I've scouted this stuff out, I'm going to probably... Maybe I should go through each of these places and... <laughs> I hate to say it, but maybe I should go through these places and kill the natives. Just now, just get it over with. I really don't know. Okay, Moroccan peasants are still... Probably because of that one place that I gave the five extra. Oh, it's like, yeah, okay. Maybe it's the Timbo. Okay. So really, none of these are... None of these are all that dangerous. So really, the unrest thing, even though I'm at negative... Even though I'm at plus three unrest, my LA is just strong enough to not have to worry about it. Um, absent merchant in Tunis, or 0.68 ducats in 10, I can take, I can afford that, that's completely fine. How's our westernization going? Going pretty well so far, I guess. Really would be nice to be able to change that again. 
All right. Um, it's kind of hard to tell where all there's places like that. That was good. I wish I had another explorer, because uh, I could just go, or not explorer, but uh, another conquistador, so I could have these guys move around. Uh, I would love to ignore your demands. Thank you. Please give me those events with local unrest and not the minus 30 prestige. I much prefer those. Okay. Nation of Messina is requesting uh, Messina conquest of Galam against Fulo and Mali. Fulo, I will accept and then probably just do nothing. Although I probably should do something because it looks like they're going to lose. Uh, why you gotta do this to me, man? Why can't you all just get along? Whatever. I'm just gonna pretend that I'm joining in until they actually start attacking me. 